Yes! Get in! That is our best performance, biggest win, everything this season, all into one. And this is what happens when you play Morgan Schneidlin in for Marouan Fellini. Fair play to Louis van Gaal today. He got his tactics bang on. He played Manchester City the exact way we needed to with pace on the break. He saw that, obviously, they had to play Dimicheles and Mangala in defence, and we capitalised on it. Even the substitutes were sensible by Van Hal. There was no bullshit today, and we, we actually held on and fought and showed desire for once. And we've won against Manchester City, meaning we're one point behind them in the race for top four. We're back in it, and now we need to capitalise on it. There's what... Eight games left, I think, for us. So, yeah, I'm just delighted. And it was Marcus Rashford who's been getting some criticism for from people who haven't seen our games because he hasn't scored in his last four. But he's been very, very good. I think he's had a couple of assists. That's now five goals in seven games, though. And it's a very vital goal. Same as his two against Arsenal were vital and against Mitchell. And admittedly, we went out in the next round, but let's forget about that. Anyway... Against Manchester City, fantastic. And I think the ball was played by Mata. And he, it, it reminds me of Martial's first goal against Liverpool. He just completely nutmegs Dimicheles. Dimicheles had a, such a poor game and he was subbed off later on for, was it Fernando or Boney? One of those. Anyway, Rashford just takes it and it's coolly slotted in. Maybe Joe Hart could have done better. Joe Hart went off later in the game. Um, I'm not sure what it was. Like, Did he pull up with... Uh, a hamstring injury or I, I don't know like he just seemed to he got a back pass from Dimicheles again it's just the curse for Manchester City at the minute isn't it Dimicheles thankfully for us but yeah he went off and Caballero uh, came on uh, we also should have had a penalty now I'm not one that usually complains too much about referee decisions there's been games recently where I haven't even mentioned them where we've had debatable decisions but this one was just so clear and it's because it's Michael Oliver and he he just doesn't seem to give us 50-50 challenges, let alone Stonewall ones. I mean, Di Maria got a red card under this referee for pulling his shirt, whereas Joe Hart headbutts him and doesn't get anything. So, you know, it's it's just annoying when you see this. Rashford's brought down by Di Michelis. Everyone knows it's a penalty. You've got Liverpool fans on Twitter even saying it's a penalty. Gary Lineker saying it's a penalty. Everyone's saying it's a penalty because it is. But we didn't get it, and thankfully it didn't matter in the end. We held on for a clean sheet. Now, the back four that played today is probably on paper our strongest back four. It's um, Darmian and Rojo on full backs and then Blind and Smalling as a centre back partnership and it worked and they played very, very well. Darmian's had some, you know, ha ha haps for, I don't even know what word I'm going for here. He's had some iffy displays, shall we say, recently, but he was very good, solid in defence. His crossing was really, really poor, but in defence, very, very good. Same as Rojo, he's been a bit iffy recently, but again, very defensively solid. Chris Smalling got man of the match. Thank God we've had one consistent defender this season. Without him, I don't know where we'd be. David De Gea wasn't called on too much. I think Man City had about 25 shots, but only three or four were on target. So we did defend compactly, and it was just a joy to watch. Schneidlin is a big help for that as well. He protects the back four, and he proved it again today. So all in all... A very good performance from Manchester United. We deserved the win regardless of the shots being 25 against 6 or something. But a lot of the shots were pot shots, long shots. And we should have had a penalty as well. So, you know, 1-0. Very, very happy. The biggest win of our season. Now let's propel. Let this propel us to... Something which we don't want consistently, we want this season, we don't want to become Arsenal where we're happy with an FA Cup win and a fourth place finish, but for this season, we're happy with that for now.